All right, welcome to the second lesson for Unit 1. Today, we're going to be talking all about divisibility rules. All right, as normal, don't forget to write your name in the corner here. And today's date. Okay, so divisibility, divisibility rules uh, are basically just a set of rules we come up with uh, because sometimes uh, numbers, if they get very, very large, it can be difficult to tell whether or not um, a number, a smaller number is a factor of that large number. And so uh, for a bunch of our uh, of the common numbers, uh, we, have, um, we have these rules that just uh, help, help us with that little shortcut. Okay, so uh, first example here is the rule for number two. So uh, any number multiplied by two is an even number. And so therefore, uh, two must be a factor of all even numbers. It doesn't matter how large that number is. If it's even, then two is a factor. So imagine we've got 7,571,248. All we actually have to do with this number is look at that last digit. We see that it's even. So yes, absolutely, two is a factor. Okay, moving on. Uh, number three. To find out if number three is a factor, this one's a little bit strange. What we do is we say if the sum of the digits is divisible by three, then it is a factor. So what we mean by that is we've got an example here, 1026. We're going to find the sum of those digits. So we'll take each of those individual digits and add them up. One plus zero plus two plus six. So 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 2 is 3, plus 6 is 9. And then all we have to do is look at this number here and ask ourselves, is 9 divisible by 3? Well, yes it is. So therefore, 3 must be a factor of 1,026. All right, our next rule is the rule for number 4. Uh, for the rule for number 4, what we have to do is, uh, if the number represented by the last two digits is divisible by 4, then the entire number is divisible by 4. So uh, take this number here, 48,312. That's a pretty big number. All I actually have to care about is the last two digits. I just zero in on those last two digits and ask myself, is 12 divisible by 2? Uh, pardon me, is 12 divisible by 4? So 12 divided by 4 is just 3. So yes, this entire number uh, is divisible by 4. 4 is a factor of that entire number. All right, number 5. Uh, number 5 is a pretty straightforward one, and all we have to do is look at the very last digit, and the last digit must be either a 5 or a 0. And if it is, then it is divisible by 5. So 68,285, the last digit is a 5, so yes, that is divisible by 5. All right, number 6 is, uh, is a little bit of a tricky one. And uh, it's, it's a combination. So what we have to check for is to see if, if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. Then we know that this number is divisible by 6. So 29,526. Just remember to go back up to your other rules here. Look at your rules for 2 and your rules for 3 and see if they both work out. So the first rule, the first question is, is it divisible by 2? And all we look at is this last digit here to see that it is uh, an even number. So yes, absolutely, that is divisible by 2. The next thing we have to ask is, is it divisible by 3? And remember, the rule for 3 is we have to add up the individual, we have to add up the individual digits. So 2 plus 9 plus 5 plus 2 plus 6. And this is all going to add up to 11, 16, 18, 24. So is 24 divisible by 3? Yes, it is. Which means this entire number here is divisible by 6. All right, the next rule here is for number 7. And I'm going to be honest with you, uh, 7 is just too difficult. Uh, there's no simple rule that we can give you to uh, to see if a number is divisible by 7. So uh, we're not going to expect you to, uh, to, to memorize one. Um, for number 8, we've got a rule. And it, it's a similar rule to number 4, where for number 8, we have to look to see if the number represented by the last three digits 
is divisible by 8, then the entire number is divisible by 8. So we can zero in on these last three digits. Now this is not quite as simple as the rule for 4, where we only had to look at two digits. Um, and you could usually kind of do it by inspection, and you would just know. So in this case, you might ask yourself, okay, is 168 divisible by 8? I can't do that in my head, so I'm going to do a little bit of long division just to do a check. You can tell, though, that that would be a lot simpler than trying to divide this whole big number by 8. We can just divide the last three digits and see if that works. So 2 doesn't go into 1, but it goes into 16 two times with no remainder. Bring down our 8, and 8 goes into 8 one time with no remainder overall. So yes, 168 is divisible by 8, which means this entire big number is also divisible by 8. All right, number nine is also uh, a little bit of a trickier uh, number, and it'll remind you of the rule for number three. So what we say is if the sum of the digits is divisible by nine, then the entire number is divisible by nine. So it's a lot like our rule for three, where we kind of add everything up, and we do, okay, eight plus zero plus one plus seven plus two plus nine, we have to add all of this up. So eight plus zero is eight, plus one is nine, plus seven is 16, plus two is 18, plus nine is 27. And we ask ourselves, is 27 divisible by nine? Yes, it is. So that means this entire number must be also divisible by nine. And our last rule that you're gonna be expected to know is the rule for 10, this is a nice straightforward one. And the rule for 10 is simply, if the last digit is a zero, then it is divisible, end of story. So 970, yep, it is, because that last digit is a zero. Okay, so um, just to give yourself a quick uh, recap, maybe just fill in this table here with uh, the rules. You can just summarize them in your own words or give a little example to help you memorize. It'll, it'll help you when you're doing your homework later. Um, and then don't forget to fill out the recap online. All right, that's it.